right, hello, wine drinking people. Today is well, it's time for what I drank yesterday. And this, in this case, is what I actually had yesterday. Our friends for Augustine were in the store, and I am keeping to my promise of getting this stuff covered in a timely fashion because these wines are all available in the marketplace now. Everything that we review. It's going to be done as close to the second day as possible, so you, our wine drinking people, will have a chance to buy these wines before they're gone. And some interesting stuff here, let me tell you. Our friends at Augustine have been searching high and low for things like uh, Altes. I've never heard of this varietal before, so we definitely picked up a case for our friends at Brown Bag. And the Altes is believed to be a kissing cousin of the ferment varietal traced back to Hungarian or origins and promoting uh, varietals like this for Louis Dresner is a noble cause. And uh, it's from the foothills uh, of the Alps near Savoy. And a uh, very fresh and clean nose here, green apple pear, kind of lemon citrus, whetstone minerality, notes of uh, lemon blossom there. Very light and refreshing on the tongue. Uh, green melon, kind of distinct minerality here showing. Some lime citrus also on the finish a really nice refreshing white wine if you're not uh if you don't like chardonnay uh you like sauvignon blanc you like crisp whites this is a nice alternative something you're not going to find anywhere at 22 dollars and 50 25 cents brett brothers Puy fousse this is a clemat wine which means it's a specific vineyard site and uh these this grower is trying this producer is trying to isolate these specific plots uh, so they don't get bulked off in the Gauchiant juice, but at this price, kind of hard to sell Puy Fusé at 50 bucks, but 40 to 70 year old vines, southern exposure here, just on the north side of the village of uh, Puy Fusé, good amount of clay, kind of limestone minerality here, a bit of funk on the nose too, if you like old world wines, man, this wine has got some complexity on the nose, uh, kind of a green apple and uh, melon fruit here shown as well, really rich and well endowed on the palate, smooth and creamy texture, a lot of concentration here, richness, and a lot of mineral Morality shown through the finish, really lovely complexity, much more than you expect from Puy Fusse. But like I said, at fifty dollars, man, an excellent bottle of Puy Fusse, maybe the best one that I've had ever. All right, Francois Chedain, Mont Louis, another noble cause here. This gentleman makes fifteen different cuvées. They only keep like two of them in stock. How could you sell 15 different cuvées of Vouvray? Well, it's not Vouvray. Actually, this village is right next across the river from Vouvray. And uh, Mont Louis, no one's ever heard of this appellation. 100% Chenin Blanc, like Vouvray. This wine has a lovely, succulent, ripe peach and apricot fruits. Really dense and rich, kind of honeyed notes. Really seductive on the bouquet. And a burst of that fruit on the palates. Uh, lots of richness on the tongue. You know, probably some residual sugar, but lovely acidity coming through to clean things up that minerality also that is so distinct in the Loire Valley and Vouvray showing through in this wine some honey notes on the finish an excellent bottle of Mont Louis at $38.75 and then we've got Pattaya Bourgogne Rouge uh, yes, that's right, folk. It's just Bourgogne Rouge at $45. Who do these people think they are? I can buy Domain Loire cheaper than that. This wine is very good. It's a young 28-year-old whiz kid winemaker in Marcinet. He just makes these two wines, Marcinet and Bourgogne Rouge, La Chapitre. And uh, lovely, big, rich fruit in this wine, kind of black cherry, exotic spice, and pretty floral notes. L lovely complexity for a Bourgogne Rouge, certainly. This wine's got that lovely dark fruit showing on the palate. A good bit of structure here, too. A big Bourgogne, a nice hand of spice, and some tannins coming through on the finish. This 2009, you get really lovely ripe tannins in these wines. Just uh, incredible wines to drink young. And hey, Bourgogne's are made to drink young, but you could probably keep this wine for three to five years, even as a Bourgogne at 45, 75. All right, then some real value creeps into this tasting here. Domaine de Cairon Gigondas. We've had this wine in the store many times, and we ordered this. This wine will be available today, tomorrow, whenever it arrives on the spot. I need some good value southern realms in the store we were decimated over the holidays very typical bouquet that lovely garig floral and dried herb character warm berry pie notes on the nose really pretty on the palate with a good hand of that ripe sweet berry fruit strawberry cherries exotic spice floral notes really lovely savory finish on this this 09 vintage so wonderful and appealing in the southern Rhone. a blend of 70 percent grenache the rest syrah movedra and cinso in this wine drinking really nicely now but you could keep this wine it's so well balanced for three to five years at least in your cellar an excellent wine and a great value at 27.75 and then a couple of wines from Chave, one of the greatest producers of the northern rhone and this crozes hermitage saline another excellent wine maybe my pick for wine of the day in this tasting 2010 no secret here a phenomenal vintage in the northern rhone this is the negotiant label for Chave. lovely dark berry fruit notes of dark spice dried meats violet floral notes wonderful complexity here on the nose some black pepper spice a little minty 
Tasty Barnyard Note, too. I love that animal that you get in these wines from the Northern Rhone. A big and chewy wine on the palate. Lots of that dark blackberry, black dark cherry fruit. Firm tannins and wonderful freshness. A classic vintage, as I mentioned before, for the Northern Rhone. This wine needs some time. Uh, wonderful entry-level negotiate wine, but, you know, this is shop. It doesn't, it doesn't have anything entry-level here in terms of quality. Excellent juice at 30 bucks. And then the St. Joseph Offerus. Well, my favorite wine from Schaub is his the original vineyard, the St. Joseph, his estate bottle one. This is his Negos label, also the Offerus. And uh, lovely forward and seductive as the 2009s are. Dark plum and cherry fruit on the nose. Some pretty floral note, uh, tones, some earth tones here. A little animal in this wine as well. Ripe and round on the tongue. These 2009s just so generous and drinking so nicely right now. Some lovely tobacco spice showing on the finish. Lovely freshness and a very good example of St. Joseph at $30.75. And then a Chetneuf to pop producer I've never heard of, Texier, another Louis Dresner selection. Uh, it's a Negotiant label. This gentleman lives in Beaujolais, and you see some of that influence coming out in the wine. I don't think it's carbonic maceration, but very forward, very fruity. This 2010 vintage having lovely structure as well, but this wine seems a bit more forward and seductive than most. It's a lovely sweet berry fruit. Like I said, almost Beaujolais-like. A good amount of that sweet berry fruit and round tannins and low alcohol for a Chetneuf. 13.5, but an excellent bottle of wine at $56.25. and That's what I had to drink with our, phone, our friends from Augustine. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.